Turning to other news now, today is the third and final day of President Emmanuel Macron's state tri trip to Brazil. Now, during the visit, the French president has been focusing on the economy and on climate change, seeking to strengthen ties with the government of Lula da Silva after years of tension during the tenure of Jair Bolsonaro. To tell us a bit more now, Daniel Landsberg-Rodriguez joins me. He's the Managing Director of Aurora Macro Strategies. Good to talk to you on the programme. Thanks for making the time. Thank you for having me on. Can you tell us, first of all, how important Macron's trip is for Brazil and for this Brazilian government? I think it's it's important for Brazil. Uh, Brazil has always been in sort of a, an interesting position geopolitically. Um, it's uh, been sort of loath to align itself uh, when there's sort of great power struggles going on elsewhere and sort of viewed itself historically as better able to benefit from, uh, you know, uh, multipolarity uh, and being able to sort of seamlessly move uh, between coalitions than anything else. Uh, and that really that the best way to understand uh, Brazil's sort of view on geopolitics generally and on its role diplomatically uh, is, is, is that. At the same time, it's difficult to find a country as large as Brazil, which is 50 percent of the population, the landmass, uh, the economy of South America that is not feared by any of its neighbors. So Brazil, you know, also has a, a tendency to seek friends far away from home and sort of keep a somewhat lower profile uh, in its own backyard uh, as a result. Um, the idea of uh, Europe and Brazil, uh, a, you know, uh, sort of strengthening economic ties through the Mercosur deal, that's been going on for a long time. Uh, it had a lot of struggles, as, as, as you mentioned, uh, because uh, Europe, uh, Brussels had a bit of an allergy uh, to Bolsonaro uh, rhetorically, uh, politically, um, and uh, there were, uh, you know, a, a certain uh, moments in which uh, Bolsonaro took to Twitter, uh, insulted Macron's wife at one point, which uh, ended up creating a, a much more of a stir. Um, and so this is something that's been delayed for a long time. So expectations are really high in Brazil. Uh, but in, in as much as the economic ramifications, uh, there's a lot of importance to it in terms of, of ecology. But I mean, Brazil's two biggest trading partners by a large margin uh, are the United States and China, that there's very little chance of this uh, changing uh, as, as a result of anything that happens here. Um, it is, uh, I would argue, more important for Lula personally, potentially, than it is for Brazil. Um, Lula has uh, entered his third presidency and found that the presidency has weakened a lot since the first two times he held it, uh, which has uh, been a little bit of a struggle. Uh, the economics in Brazil, the macro economy is actually quite strong, uh, and he's personally popular to an extent. Uh, but there's still a lot of sort of economic malaise among the private sector. They're looking for some sort of signal uh, that positive, you know, positive change is coming, uh, that there's something that they can be optimistic about. And so far, uh, it's been difficult for uh, the uh, Lula government to try and get that across. And on Lula himself, um, on social media during Macron's trip, there's been some suggestion of a, a bromance between the pair. There's been footage of them embracing rather warmly. Do you think there's something substantive behind their apparent friendliness for each other, or is that just optics in front of the camera? Well, they're both generationally talented politicians uh, for their uh, own spheres. Uh, they are both uh, quite gregarious. Um, I'm sure that uh, you know there's a, there's a, there's an extent to which it, you know they may they may personally like each other. At the same time, uh, there is a, a lot riding on this in terms of uh, sort of Lula's future. Uh, Lula is not a young man anymore uh, by Latin American presidential ages, although. Uh, he, he is uh, slightly younger than the uh, average for uh, a U.S. Uh, presidential uh, finalists. Um, and there's a lot of questions within the PT right now about whether he's the standard bearer, uh, you know, for the party moving forward after these four years are up. That's a main a big conversation that's going on within his party right now. Um, in the old days, during his first two terms, Lula was tremendously popular personally. Even opposition politicians would be lining up uh, to take pictures with him. Um, that hasn't quite happened this time, partially uh, because the presidency, as I mentioned, is weaker now, partially because Brazil has become so much more polarized. So anything Lula can do personally to sort of you know, bring that magic back, to put himself in the limelight, uh, to make himself... Uh, 
you know, uh, a, a little bit more uh, of a uh, international brand, uh, similar to uh, in the uh, aughts when he was one of the most popular politicians on the planet. Uh, that's something that is actually important to his own future in, uh, within the party indeed. and whether he gets uh, a chance to lead it. Indeed. Um, uh, lots more I'd like year. to ask you, sir, but unfortunately we're running rather tight on time. We're going to have to leave it there. But thank you very much indeed. Daniel Landsberg Rodriguez talking to us on the programme.